Hi, I'm Mark Richard Adams, post-production specialist. Thanks for joining me today on Colour Me In for another post-production demonstration. Today I'd like to do a short video in Avid, uh, in Avid 2021. And it's something that actually is reflective across Avid, across um, various versions, and again, uh, pre-2018. But it's something that's really quite handy and something that's really simple actually but something that I've always used and many of my peers use too in regards to how to um, locate and find things in the sequences quite easily. So today we're gonna to talk about track coloring and clip coloring. Okay, now it's something that's actually very, very simple. Um, if we go to our edit spin, and here's our sequence, I've got four clips, I've got two, two mids and got two close-ups. Uh, okay, now in a minute you'll see that Avid has defaulted to this green and sort of purple sort of um, layout and it looks pretty cool I like this color it's, it's working really well but sometimes um, I want to have sort of different colors for the track if we go to press command Y and Y we can actually generate two more video layers and if we just um, move these clips up you can see now that um, Avid is automatically um, any track that's gone higher than video layer one it's, it's colored it brown now this isn't something I necessarily want actually. Normally I, I like to set my own colors. So for example, in video layer one, let's say I'm happy with that green color, but video layer two, make sure you deselect everything here first and just have it lit, the track that you want to highlight, okay? Now, if you go to the fast menu or the burger menu back in the day as you used to call it, click on that. And if you go to uh, track color, you can then pick your color. Now we can have that as an orange Let's say that I wanted um, composite or um, graphics on video layer three. I can go to menu, track color, and I'm going to have that as a sort of a purple. So I can now designate tracks with different things, okay? And it's the same with the audio as well. I could change completely the audio channels here. One and two, I could choose, instead of having it a purple color, I want to have it um, this sort of bluey color, okay? So, and you can designate that to other tracks, um, channels three and four, five and six, seven, eight. You can choose different colors for different tracks, okay? And it's really handy if you've got, if you're checkerboarding sort of uh, commentary, like channels one and two and three and four. And let's say you've got your checkerboarding music on five and six and seven, eight, and maybe on channel nine, you've got a comp track, okay? So it's really handy to colorize those. But there's something else you can do with Avid too. Um, and if we just, drop these down. What we can do is instead of having per track colors, we can have per clip color, okay? And that's quite handy as well. Now if you go up to, uh, I've got two bins here, uh, MediaCam 1, MediaCam 2, open that out, and I've got the two mids here, these interviews. And if I click on, um, and I know that there are two different, there's Ed and there's me. Okay, if I click on the color, and I'm gonna choose that to be, let's say we're gonna have a, uh, green, red, and for Mark, we're gonna have a orange. Okay, so we've chosen our colors already. So green for Ed, orange for Mark. If we go to this close-up camera, so in the Ed, I'm gonna have, I'm gonna have a green one, a darker green, and then a Mark, I'm gonna have a, uh, more of a sort of a muddy color there. That's fine, that's fine. And now what happens is that, uh, my contributors have sort of a similar tone of color, sort of, um, and we can now choose to see that on the timeline. So you can see MediaCam 1, there's our colors, MediaCam 2, there's our colors. Now, if we jump to the fast menu, so instead of going to track color, we can go to clip color. Click on that, and you can see in here we've got loads of cool options. This is very similar to actually pre-2018 uh, Avid. Um, we can actually see the offline as well if we need to, but if you go down, we can hit source. Click on source, click OK, and here we go. So we know the green mid shot is Ed, and we know the orange mid shot is Mark. We know this sort of muddier color here is uh, Mark uh, close up, and this darker green is Ed close up. So we can change the colors of the tracks very easily, vision and audio, and we can change the colors of the clips within those tracks. And this is all for like ease of reference. And actually, depending on how you want to work in Avid, there's multiple different ways. And Avid gives you the options of allowing you to find a really comfortable way for you to cut your film. 
I hope you've enjoyed that video. Please give me a like or subscribe or type in down below demos you'd like to see next. Catch you next time.